three people on. Well, here you guys go. Here is the weather today. We were supposed to get a whole lot more snow and I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I'm the one, I'm the one that's been praying, Lord, hold off on this snow. Hold on, let me, let me get my boys home and then just let it snow, all right? Just let it snow when they get home. So right now, that's exactly where I'm heading. I'm heading to go pick up my boys and you know normally i leave about 30 minutes early today it is an hour early that i'm leaving because uh well you guys can see the road so welcome back to the arctic vet youtube channel my name's trevor and today we're just gonna have a little drive and a little talk on this sunday so uh today i was gonna go to church but turns out the church was canceled due to this weather. I mean, look guys, it's two degrees out. And that's just the actual, temp that's the temperature. Uh, when I looked earlier, it said that it felt like negative 18. Now, that's cold. And yeah, yeah, we're here in Kansas, man. We get it all. Earthquakes, pretty much a hurricane. Not really, not yet, anyhow. <laughs> tornadoes hot hot summer days and cold cold winter days you get it all here in Kansas so if you're looking to move here expect to have a full winter suit and a full summer bathing suit <laughs> you're gonna need them both but that right there is a good sign hopefully that means the highways are nice and clear because that's what we're heading on we're gonna head up on here to the highway and head over to Inman, pick up my boys. So, maybe the snow truck's gonna follow and we could get behind him or something. You know, I'd rather be behind him. It's a little slick and I turned my traction control off because here's the thing, with traction control on, it's gonna kill power the moment I need it. So, if you got to be out in this weather and you have traction control, or, or you don't have a snow mode, or anything fancy like that, I don't, I, I suggest to turn it off. Now, what that's going to do is that's going to help you just keep your wheel spinning. <laughs> because you might not have traction, but if that wheel just stops, there's a good chance you're going to get stuck. So out here on the highway though, it doesn't look too bad at all. It doesn't look too bad at all. I, you know, see there the speed limit says 70, but I'm still, I'm only doing 45, so I don't, I don't really know how slick this is. I don't want to find out. So I'm just gonna take it nice and easy. I got plenty of time. And you know, that's one thing, that's one thing about, about today. Today is our time. The Lord blessed us with today. He blessed us with today. So that means you gotta you gotta take your little victories. You might be bundled up at home watching a movie, enjoying some cuddle time with your family. Maybe, you know, it's Valentine's Day. You're spending it with your wife, with your girlfriend, with your husband, with your boyfriend. But me, I've been spending my morning just working on some videos. And you know what? It 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 is kind of lonely, but here's the deal. I'd rather be way more lonely and happier alone than I would being in, a, in the wrong relationship because I've been there and it sucks. So I am very, very thankful for being able to embrace the loneliness and, and not so much enjoy it, but find peace within it. And it's all thanks to the Lord. So honestly, guys, um, last night I had a great conversation with a great friend. I don't want to say too much about it, 
but like I don't want to go into details but what I do want you guys to know is that no matter if you're going through a season right now and what I mean by a season is if you're going through a really hard spot right now in life and you just don't know what you're gonna do or you, you don't think you have a reason to live I want you to shoot me a message drop a comment down below just let me know you need a prayer I'll send a prayer up for you shoot I've already done it you had no idea I don't know you I might but if I don't, guess what? I'm still praying for you. Because I, I truly believe that every one of us has a purpose here on this earth. And the Lord's going to take you to heaven when it is your time. And there's nothing we can do about it. But right now, you're sitting here watching this video, listening to me, watching me drive down this highway. And you know what? This is, this is the time that we're blessed with. So spend it well. Do something good today. Try to do something. Find something that makes you feel good. Go make your bed. You know, those dishes in the sink, go knock them out. Go, go clean them. And then when you're done, look at that sink and look at how clean it looks. Be proud of yourself. Lately, I've been trying to get into the habit of telling the boys, you should be proud of yourself. Instead of, I'm proud of you. I've been trying my hardest, and it is a hard habit to break. But to just be like, hey, you should be proud of yourself. You did a good job. That right there, it, it makes it so that as I continue doing this, when they get older, they're going to be like, wow, I don't have to look up to anybody to get a I'm proud of you moment I can I can be proud of myself this guy's zooming I mean that's cool you can do that I don't want to do that so that just a little something to consider and and you could do that for yourself like I've tried I'm trying to do that for myself even like you know what I'm proud of myself because look at me I've got my three boys, I'm a single father, and we're making it, we're figuring it out. We're, we're not, we're not homeless, you know, we've got a roof over our head, we've got some food in our bellies, and that's all we need. That's all we need. So look at those little things and, and tell yourself that you're proud of yourself for it, because as we keep going and keep doing this, the repetition, you're going to start seeing a more positive change in your life. And it'll be, it'll, it's going to be worth it. It is worth it. There goes another guy zooming. He's in a mess. Thank you, buddy. I mean, the road's pretty clear now, so I don't have to go 50, but... You know, I still got time, so kind of like just mosey along here. Doesn't doesn't matter to me. I might as well set the cruise here, do 55. Oh, that didn't set the cruise. There we go. Now the cruise set. So, yep, yeah, that's that's that. Anyways, though, I know I kind of jumped off of a whole nother subject than my talk last night, but. We all have dark places, we all struggle. And if you're having a hard time finding that positive within that, that hard place, please please talk to me. Please uh, get a hold of me, whether that's through Instagram and or you see my email down there. I believe I have it in here in my descriptions. It's arcticvet97 at gmail.com. And so, you know, you guys just send me something and we can we get talking let me let me try and help you find that positive in your life because i'm telling you right now my entire world has just been flipped upside down and not just once but several several times and looking back i'm like you know what there was there is one consistency every time god was there for me and uh, he definitely showed up again last night for me. Not necessarily for me, but for my friend. 
and it was just it was a heartwarming feeling moment and it wasn't really just like a short talk I mean we talked for like five six hours and it was it was amazing I mean you can't I don't know, being filled with the Holy Spirit like I am right now, I just feel chills and down my back, down my neck. Oh man, it it's the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit was flowing last night. And it was wild because it was flowing through both of us and we're just like, oh my gosh, this is this is incredible. And you know, they're sitting there like my mind's blown. And truly it was, and it still is. We we have a lot to learn, a lot to learn. So this is gonna be my, my I guess, Sunday storytelling video. Um, I wanna try, I wanna try and get back into doing more Sunday videos and I'm gonna be bringing more of my um, my progress through life into it I mean I've been doing that and if you go back it's just there's so many little things that I look back on in these in these videos and I'm like wow wow that was that was a tough time and all I needed was to to get on my knees and put my hands together and bow bow my head and pray That's all I needed. That's all I needed. But I'm not here to, to judge anybody or to push my religion or anything on anybody. Because honestly, I'm not, like I've said before, I'm not really one to go into, go into churches. However, I did find one that I really like and I'm actually comfortable going to. And, you know, I, I just walk in, sit down, you know, a couple people say hi, I don't know, I'm just like, hi, you know, being being respectful, being nice, being me. And then afterwards, I get up, and some of the things that are being said, I'm like, they're making my mind think. And I'm like, wow, that's, yeah, yeah, I can relate. And then, you know, after, after service is done, I get up and I walked out and went home. And I wasn't bothered or anything, and that's my kind of deal, that's my... That's definitely my kind of deal. Here we go. Now we got us a snow plow truck up here. Working on the road again. And uh, we're definitely a little bit early. But you know what? I would rather be early than running late, trying to get here fast, and end up in a ditch or something. So just as a reminder, when weather gets bad like this, guys, prepare for a little longer drive go a little slower take your time because after all you guys and your family matter the most so stay safe stay warm and don't forget to click that subscribe button yeah you know I was coming you knew that was coming we're gonna drive by this snow pile here click that subscribe button I'll get you a click on a clip of this guy here and as always don't forget to click that like button because that helps us out tremendously just as much as dropping some comments down below so thank you guys for coming for my little sunday storytelling video we have made it to inman now and i'm gonna go park and wait for my boys to get here and we're gonna head on home and cozy up under some warm blankies maybe have some hot cocoa <laughs> come on by if you want some hot cocoa just kidding. <laughs> don't come by. <laughs> I only have two seats. <laughs> just, just kidding, guys. We'll catch you later. Have a great, great, great day. Even though it's cold, have a great day. And God bless you. And God bless America. God bless the world.